So what makes your Facebook page awesome? That's a question I like to ask myself when I work for any client. After I build it out, I've optimized everything, I ask myself this question. What makes this Facebook page awesome? Would I, as a customer, want to like this page? Would I want to share things on this page? So if you can't answer that question, that's fine. But I just like to go out and I like to look at competition. I like to look at some of the big brands and take in elements of things that work and get shares and get likes and mimic and copy those things for my own brand or for my clients' brands. So make sure to check out www.coursenb.com slash best dash Facebook dash pages. So let's look at a few of my top favorite ones. First is Cabela's. Instantly landing on this page, you know what this page is about. Outdoors, hunting, the world's foremost outfitter. When I look to these big brands, things I first notice, profile image, clean, I instantly know what the brand's about, cover photo, again to solidify, what does Cabela's mean? And then I like to notice what their call to action button is. Obviously they have a store with the shop now button. Next, I go to the tabs. What tabs did they see as important for their brand? Gift cards, about, careers. This tells me their company's big enough to be hiring people and they have multiple locations. So scroll down, let's look at some of the imagery. Looks like they take some fan photos possibly. Here's some professional shots, product shots, displayed from their shop tab. As you can see, that's a shop. Then they have videos, and finally into their post. This is cool, a good takeaway for you. Big brands run contests. They want engaged fans. So they even hashtag this one, fan of the week photo contest, with the instructions on how to enter. So there's 3,000 likes for a contest, a video, we have 56. Okay, so that's not the best, keep looking. A bald eagle military discount program. That's great. 491, 128 for a video. Here's a great outside shot. 1400 likes. Let's take a look at this one. Out here, there's no long checkout lines or crowded meat counters. Colorado women's only antelope signature outdoor adventure. So really, they're calling to those people that love the outdoors, don't like those crowded areas, long lines, and catering to women, to women that are hunters. So just keep scrolling through and see what gets likes, what gets engagement. Another Facebook page I love, Zappos. If their logo doesn't say what they're about, the exclamation point is a shoe. Again, a shop now call to action. Great photos featured right at the top telling me that they sell shoes. And then, what is Zappos all about? They're known for customer service. We're here for you 24-7. Post a comment, tweet, chat email, call. They're giving you every option to get a hold of them. That's rare in some businesses today. So Zappos is all about branding themselves as customer service first. Look at their tabs. Simple, clean, photos, videos work for us. Events, that's cool. They obviously have enough events to justify adding that tab. Now let's scroll down to their post to see what gets the most engagement. We have a video. Okay, really clean, great shot of Adidas shoes, 121 likes, 3,500 likes, wow. Every pair of Rockport shoes, so this must be a good hashtag, that's another thing to consider, include hashtags that are trending. To find trending topics and trending hashtags, I like to use sites like google.com slash trends, so you can see what's trending today, this month, this year, and include these keywords within your Facebook post. Or you can use Facebook itself. Go to the home page, click the Facebook logo. Here in the news feed on the right side are trending topics. So a way to get engagement is to talk about what's current, what's trending. What hashtag or keyword can we pull from these trends? Or you can even use sites like hashtags.org. We can look at popular hashtags, trending hashtags, and include those in our post as well. But back to this Facebook post, besides that hashtag, what looks like got them so excited was that it's a $500 shopping spree. So again, contest. Users love contests. So take note of this, contests work. 
Keep scrolling through to look at more posts. 56, not the best. 44, 8,000, wow, here's a good one. Hello Spring, it's just a great product shot, right? Take a note from that. Clean, color pop, simple text in the photo. It got them a ton of likes. One more note about Zappos is notice the visitor post on this side. Again, they're all about customer service, so they enabled visitor posts in their Facebook settings. So once you're on your Facebook page, help, settings, visitor post, anyone can publish to the page. Anyone can add photos and videos to the page. This encourages users to engage with your Facebook page. So as you can see, Zappos enables that. One more page I love, Starbucks. Clean, just their logo for their profile pic. Great product shot for their cover photo. Let's look at past cover photos. Great product shots. Love these product shots. And why? It was part of the Red Cup contest. These are the winners of, again, a contest. So use clean quality photos in that cover photo. So their call to action button, simply send message. So again, they're seeking customer service is what I take from that. Scroll down through their tabs, open jobs, events, locations. Obviously, they have a lot of locations, but pretty close to default settings here. Scroll down, and again, they're going to be all about product shots. 172,000 likes. They launched a new unicorn frappuccino. That's fun, creative. Of course, it's going to get a lot of likes. It's a new product launch. Scroll down, great product shot, but only 7,000 likes. They obviously included the locations tab since they're a locations heavy business. One more thing I noticed, the international tab. If you have an international following, this is a great tab to include. Because look at this, Starbucks from around the world. They have Facebook pages specific to all their varying countries, Argentina, Aruba, and so on. You can see the page likes for each page. So that's one cool addition if you have that big of a brand. So make sure to check out our favorite Facebook pages and what we feel makes them awesome at courseenvy.com slash best dash Facebook dash pages. What you want to do now is to go to your competitor's Facebook pages. Look at what gets engagement. Look at what tabs they're using. What's their call to action button? What's their profile photo and cover photo? Pick and choose all the things that make these varying competitor pages great to therefore implement on your own Facebook business page and make it awesome. So in the beginning, you're going to have low followers, not the most likes, but fake it till you make it. Start to copy some of these big brands and you'll be surprised. Maybe some of your posts go viral. Maybe some of these post engagements I teach you later on get a ton of hits, a ton of likes, a ton of comments. So this is just the beginning.